trip test and report. In this video, we will show you how to perform an automatic trip test and view the report that it generates. We start by adding an MTZ device. This needs to be direct connected via USB into the front of the trip unit. You may need to check your Windows device settings to confirm which COM port is being used. Once selected, click on Find Devices. This will scan and show which devices have been found. Click on Add Devices to add the MTZ to the project. Choose a device from the switchboard view and then click Connect to Device to establish a connection. If you've not purchased a license for EPC, the automatic trip curve test will be greyed out and not be available. If you have a license, this and other features will be selectable once connected to the breaker. When you select Automatic Trip Curve Test, it will bring up the test page. We will run all three tests highlighted. If we click on the Run Test button, a warning notice will appear. Please read the warning, and if it is OK and safe to proceed, click on I understand. Enter the admin passcode for the trip unit and click Continue to run the tests. Depending upon your protection setting, this may take a little while. Follow the on-screen instructions and reset and close the breaker as necessary. When all tests have finished running, the test results will appear at the bottom of the testing page. We can then generate a test report by selecting Automatic Trip Test Report from the Reports type on the menu bar. The report will be generated in PDF format. As we can see, it includes the project and device details as well as the test results. This information will also be present in a project report.